Oh yes. Here we come. It's another day. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The sound of victory. Oh, yeah. I see you laughing again. I see you rejoice again. Yes. Evangelist Ebenezer, God, God bless you. It's your my original. You're blessed. Thank you for connecting tonight. Glory to God. God's will, you're welcome. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Uche is on board. I see we are ready. We are ready. Ready to blast. The devil is a liar. If I you, you're welcome. God's will. Thank you with your people. God bless you for watching. Mighty God. Evangelist testimony. Joy Mokeka. God bless you. Chukwe Meka Jonathan. I bless you. You're welcome on board. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Prince Will, you're on board today. You're welcome. Wow. Let the sound of rejoicing feel this. Oh, yes. Glory, glory. Thank you, Father. Connect and share. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And I welcome Chigazie, welcome. Lillian, God bless you for connecting tonight. My God, my God. Oh, yeah? Thank you, Jesus. Fares, thank you for connecting. Evangelist testimony. Thank you, Lord. This is beautiful. You came welcome. Chidema. Good to see you. Oh, my God. Glory to, glory to God, glory to God. Thank you, Father. What a mighty God, what a mighty God. This is great. This is great. Chizak, you're welcome. Oh, yes. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Onyechi. Oh, yes, Lord. We have a whole lot of people coming in. Oh, yes. Glory, glory. You 
Welcome, Tina. Judge Mary, God bless you for connecting tonight. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Glory. We are getting ready to go to court. Ozo, you can hear me now. Esquire. Pastor Sam. Ayo, God bless you for connecting. Victory is around the corner. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Oh, yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. I don't know why I feel so happy and light. I see God giving someone a miracle that will cover what you lost in four generations. God is restoring someone's glory from four generations back. God is about to hand over to you what generations lost in your lineage oh yes we are ready Solomon we are ready the rugged apostle apostle Victor Agor God bless you from Calabar Jeffet yes that's the song that's the song that's the song Mercy from Germany glory to God Oh my God, oh my God. Thank you, Lord. Oh yes. Ndubisi, thank you for connecting. Apostolosi, thank you for connecting tonight. Ifoma, thank you for coming. Oh yes, Lord. Glory. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. Pastor Sam, God's will, thank you for all the people watching with you. Cheka, God bless you. It's a great night. We are preparing tonight. Tomorrow we are heading to court. Al Haji Marvelous. <laughs> bless you, my dear. God bless you. Onyama Felix, the deaconess. God bless you. Chika Etel. Oh, Yudi, I've been waiting to see you. God bless you. Oh, my own mama. Mama Stephanie Ikebudu. God bless you. I see you smiling. Stella, God bless you, my dear sister. Glory, 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 glory. Oh my God. Noyalum from Abuja, God bless you. Eric, Ezequem, it's a great time, I believe. Connect on your page, share it. You can start a watch party so people can connect to your own page. 
we want to look at our petitions tonight as we take it to court tomorrow. You can imagine going to a court. The advocate is Jesus. Oh my God. The judge is God the Father. Somebody's case will be settled. My CEO, Ogum Odunze, all the way from Houston. Wow. Sent Arewa, God bless you for connecting. Joseph Epeyan, God bless you for connecting. It's a loaded night. I sense it. Victory is at the door. God is releasing the glory of four generations to somebody. Welcome, my queen. My one and only queen. Helen, thank you for connecting tonight. Carry me, O oh Lord. Carry me, Lord. Carry me, Lord. Original Chioma, God bless you. Reveal Jesus to me, Lord. My brother Jackson, welcome. Hope, you're welcome. Glory, glory, glory. Vanessa, you're welcome. Oh God, God bless you for being here tonight. Jacinta, thank you for connecting. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Solomon, a man of God. God bless you. Hey. Carry me, carry me, carry me, carry me. Yahela Baru Santa Yedis. Welcome, Kevin. Oh, Larando Satala was shooting the cushion. May say take it to Talabos. Can you speak in tongues? Can you speak in tongues where you are now? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just take two minutes, two minutes. Linda Yado Sharabos. Lekata pata tata la zo sete de Zeze le rabo shuta la kata la kushi adaba Ma ye le kabara do shuta rodo se Zeze ndare da katu tepe tele de se Ma katu tele de do shuta la bande Speak in tongues, speak in tongues One minute, kale baro rade la ndare ya da ka hinge ya Iya lo haka kwa yenga ka shua ka yende keze Zezian zana na mali endo hukura kata yada Inka kaka ya kabura dada shada dada shada Ketumbra dada shuta dada dada boshe Setu tatele do sidege Shalinga dada boshu dada dada shia Lika tada dada 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 shuta Oka ye kate katu dada mahandi Can you just flow your tongues for one minute? Flow your tongues for one minute Iya ya katurando sota la raboze Ze zindra le gabutu sute Shake teke to la no sota la raboze Yallo ra rabo shara da barege ya Kato pata la no sote le Yes, yes, yes Yes, he's here He's here Amana kato ta la bo sote O kalando sota la bo shia from New York City, God bless you. Ewo, leka patan toro do shuta la la basa. 
Ambassador Elvis. God bless you. Peace from Port Harcourt. Thank you for connecting. Mommy General, you're welcome, Mama. Janice Kaba. Arise. This is your night. Arise, my dear. The glory of God is upon you. God bless you, Helen. Ah, Pakatu Tetele do Sota. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> now let's let's roll it for tonight. Thank you for connecting tonight. We are in our season of Jubilee. 50 days of this broadcast of connecting heaven and standing in the gap for our families. We had it 50 days yesterday that this broadcast has been on every day for not less than 40 minutes. Yesterday we had well over 1,000 viewers. From the one I had on my page, we had well over 1,000 viewers. And I want to thank God for the great and mighty things he's doing. And tonight, we are preparing to go to court tomorrow. And tonight, we want to arrange our proceedings, our petitions. Because tomorrow, we are going to be before the presence of the Almighty. Oh, yes. Thank you, precious. We are ready. And so tonight, I need to prepare and also alert those who were not here yesterday that we are having a 21 hours dry fasting and prayers tomorrow. We are going to the court of heaven. We are going to the altar tomorrow. No food, no water. From 12 midnight this night, three hours from now, Till the broadcast tomorrow, 9 p.m. tomorrow. It's important. I also understand and recognize that we have a time difference with those in America, South America, some parts of Asia. And so you can run it from the time when you want, but make sure it's up to 21 hours. We we'll start from 12 midnight tonight or 12 a.m. till we'll come in for the broadcast by 9. That's when we are going to close it. I have posted 10 prayer topics. It's on my page and you can pick it up. We are going to be praying 33 hours by 6 a.m. By 9 a.m., by 12 noon, by 3 p.m., and by 6 p.m. Two prayer topics each. Two prayer topics each. And you will go through, write five personal and family prayer topics. Now align it, the scriptures I gave will cover anything you can write. They are there. You will find a place on the scriptures where you can stand. We have the constitution. And that's where we are basing our petitions. The constitution, that which is written, cannot be broken. What is written, is written. And if it is written, it cannot be broken. And so tonight... We want to, I want to look at those topics and then give us instructions. Prepare yourself from tonight. Ask God for strength. I want to tell somebody here tonight, you can make it. Don't be afraid of the fast. You are not going to die. If you are breastfeeding, please eat. But join us in the prayers. If you're breastfeeding, if you're a nursing mother, or you can stay on fruits. If you are on very strong medication, I will encourage you to stay on fruits and use it to take your medication. But I believe that after this 
courts proceedings whatever that is responsible will be chased away we are going to have some very awesome time in God's presence and so I'm going to encourage you if you have raised your altar you are going to the altar tomorrow from time to time if you like you can lay down there I want someone to understand that God wants to hear us declare our rights. The altar is a place where you enforce your rights and take back what was taken from you. You are going to be taking back what was taken from your father, from your grandfather, four generations. You are going to take it back. Every glory that was denied your family in four generations must manifest in your lifetime. I am talking to someone. I have a burden that you will cease from this circle of affliction, this circle of disappointment. is every night. The moment we hit the altar, the advocate is already in place. The judge, our father, who has written and cannot deny what he has written. And so we are going to fly on the wings of what is written. The constitution of the believer. The scriptures will stand on it. Even the devil knows them. I want to believe. I already feel. Somebody, somebody sent me a text message today and said, Daddy, I started praying and I already started having miracles. He has not joined the fast. He's just been praying and miracles are already taking place. I got that text just a few minutes to this broadcast. Listen to me. You're going to hear testimonies that look like fairy tale. People will come to you before the end of the month of June. You will see unusual manifestations. You're going to see yourself on platforms that you didn't even dream about. It's going to happen so fast that you will begin to dance and people will wonder, which shrine did you go to? Something is already happening. And so I want to share with us on our petitions and pull out some parts of the constitutions that we are going to base our petition and table it tomorrow. I feel so happy and light. If you know anybody you love, make that person to join this fast tomorrow. I plead with you. Buy data and give to people as a gift. Sow it as a seed. Let them be a part of this. I wanted to be coming every three hours, but I changed my mind about that. I don't want to distract you. I want you to focus. I want you to stay in the presence of God. If it's possible, don't go out. Don't go out. If it's possible. But if you need to go out, please go out. But be in the mood of prayer. We are going to court. You must be present in court. It's important that you are present in court. So that you can facilitate your judgment. God is in this house tonight. I don't know if you feel what I feel. I don't know if you are sensing a great move of God. We are going to go through this prayer. By this time tomorrow night, some shrines will get burnt. By this time tomorrow night, some tokens, some wicked tokens will get burnt. By this time tomorrow night, there are some journeys that will be terminated. By this time tomorrow night, you are going to see God in a way you've never seen before. It is time to get back your joy. It is time to get back your inheritance. It is time to take your stand. This is war. I need you to understand that. This is war. We have gone through 50 days on this broadcast. And God declared the day of Jubilee yesterday. And we declared that we are going to take it in full force. 50 days of broadcast. 
50 is the number of jubilee. Is the number of freedom. And I believe somebody is hitting freedom. We are taking today to prepare ourselves. Now look at, let's look at with the scriptures. 2 Kings chapter 19 verse 14. 2 Kings chapter 19 verse 14. I want to show you something tonight. 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 14. 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 14. That circle of disappointment, that circle of giving, and at the point of receiving it will be aborted. That circle of, of having having a fear of what is about to happen and when it should happen, it will just get disorganized. It has just ended. Someone is getting to your high places. You are stepping into your high places. I want to tell someone tonight that heaven is ready to execute judgment on your behalf. Thank you, Chizak. Thank you so very much. For hitting that scripture. I want to show you three scriptures from that same passage. And look at what the scripture is saying in 2 Kings. This happens to Hezekiah. And Hezekiah received the letter of the hand of the messengers and read it. He read it. And Hezekiah went up into the house of the Lord and spread it before the Lord. He spread the letter before the Lord. That was the court he knew. Are you aware that he was a king? He couldn't sit in judgment. There was a king he needed to go take it to. A king bigger than him wrote him a letter. Wrote him a letter. Senikare, one of the most wicked kings in Assyria. Senikare, I don't want to go through his lineage and history. I don't care about that. I don't know the letter that is before you. That letter could be a lab result from the hospital. That letter could be a test result. That letter could be a diagnosis from a doctor. That letter could be a quick notice from the landlord. That letter could be a letter of debt from the bank. That letter could be a letter sucking you from work. That letter could be a letter of divorce. That letter could be a letter. I don't care what it is. I don't know the letter that is before you. We are going to court tomorrow. <laughs> Hezekiah said, I don't know anybody. I don't have any other shrine to go to. I am taking it to my altar. We are hitting the altar tomorrow. 21 hours of fasting and praying. No water, no food. From 12 midnight this night till the broadcast 9 p.m. tomorrow, 8.40. I am believing whatever they took four generations from your family, you will see it return in your lifetime. Something will happen. Hezekiah received the letter from the messengers. He read it and went to the house of the Lord and spread it. This is why I said, write five personal requests. Write five family requests. Tomorrow in the broadcast, you will place it before you. We will be in the shrine of the Almighty. We are heading to court. That's why we said this is court proceedings. Every Senikareb, I'm going to show you how he died. Senikareb boasted. Read that scripture. Take your time. Meditate on it tonight before you sleep. Second Kings chapter 19. He looked at Hezekiah and said to Hezekiah, You think it is that your God? Your God will not deliver you. Where was the God of this country? When I came to them. This other country, where was their God? When I dealt with them. This other country, why was there? Where was their God? You are boasting in your God. I will make a mess of you. And this is one man 
who gives you notice before he comes. Get all your affiliations and alliances. He will come and he specializes in disgracing kings. He is the king that cuts up tombs of kings. He cuts up the big toes of kings. He skins men alive and crucifies them upside down. He uses the skin of men as wallpaper in his palace. That is the kind of wicked. Listen, for you to understand, let me explain. This is the man, Nineveh. Nineveh, where they told Jonah to go and preach, is the capital city of Assyria, where this man is the president. Now you will understand why Jonah said, I cannot go there and preach. It's a wicked people. If I go there and preach, they will repent and you will forgive them. The sins of these people should not be forgiven. That was what Jonah said. And God said, you must go there. I want to save them. That is how wicked that man is. And that's the man that wrote. Listen, I don't care about the wickedness of your enemies. I don't care about their capacity. They were created. Hey, your enemy was created. But we have the creator. We have the as our senior advocate, something is about to happen. Whatever Senekareb that is in your family will bow. This mission, this, this court proceedings will terminate that circle. Anybody under oath against your life, we will settle it in court tomorrow. I am encouraging you. Look at that. He got this letter. Hezekiah knew the capacity of Sennacherib. Hezekiah knew what Sennacherib can do. He has not lost the battle. What he tells you, he's coming to do it. And there was no other place to go to. He ran to the altar and spread the letter for God to read. Let God read it. I preached in Onisha, where a man ran and came to me in the hotel room, bringing a letter from a shrine, and said, they wrote me a letter to report, because I'm owing one man to the shrine. And he said, Daddy, what do I do? I said, are you owing? Yes. Did you run? No. What did you tell the man? I told the man to give me some time. I'm going to pay him. And the man said, he must report me to the shrine. I said, is that so? I, he said, okay. I said, bring me paper. Let's run. Let's go to the church. We ran to the church and stayed at the altar. And then I said, oh yeah, start writing. To him it may concern. Put his name. From the altar of the Almighty, I write to you. If you feel that this man is owing you and does not pay, does not want to pay, and you want to exercise judgment, report to this altar. If you cannot come here, never disturb him again. If you do it again, whatever you see, receive it from this altar. So it is written. And we said, Amen. I told him, fold it, send it to the man. Go and drop it, give it to him in the hand. He gave it to the man in the hand. The man read it and laughed. He read it and laughed. And the brother left him and came back. The next day he came to look for the brother. He said, where did you go to? And the brother said, what do you mean? He said, I couldn't sleep last night. Something was flogging me on my bed. Something was flogging me. I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. And the, the brother took that man and rushed back to come and see me in the hotel room. And we had to settle that matter. Listen. <laughs> Your matter will be settled. We are heading to court tomorrow. I don't care how long it has lasted. And that's why I said, table your husband and wife discuss. Discuss. It is very important. Now, I'm not going to bug you with what happened, but in 2 Kings chapter 19, 2 Kings chapter 19, look at verse 34. 
after God read the letter, look at the reply of God. Give it to me, please, on the screen. Verse 34 of 2 Kings chapter 19. Oh my God, oh my God. Whatever dreams you're having, by this night they will change. By this night they will change. Your dream will show you that you are in court. La take a two balando shadaba. Tomorrow night will be heavy. Tomorrow, if you know anybody you love, connect them to this platform tomorrow. It's going to be heavy. La bado shata lege sente. Verse 34, 2 Kings 19. Yes, Chizak, thank you very much. Look at what God replied. For I will defend this city to save it for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. God, your case, the name of the Almighty is involved. I need you to look at, look at the New Living Translation. For my honor and for the sake of my servant David, I will defend this city and protect it. I charge and I come against every force against your family. Heaven will defend you. Heaven will defend your marriage. Heaven will defend your job. Heaven will defend your name. Heaven will defend your personality. Heaven will defend your children. Listen to me. Get ready. Your papers. Whatever for sitting on your resident papers, something heavy is coming. Whatever that is blocking the manifestation of your gifts, something heavy. Oh, thank you, Lord. The Lord, I hear the voice of God. Listen to me. Any voice that is working, using your past as a tool, something is about to happen. God is about to arrange something that will give you a clean slate. Men are about to change their minds about you. Hey, men will change their minds about you. Get ready for a return of those that deserted you. Something great. I will defend this city. But look at them. Verse 36 and 37. Look at the last verses. See how Sennacherib died. It was settled at the court. At the altar of the Most High. Come on, give it to me. I want to show you something. This man wrote a letter. It was taken to the altar. And the altar had to kill him at the altar. He ran to his own altar. Oh my God. Come on, come on, give it to me. Second Kings, let read 35, 36, 37. Yes, Chizag, are you there? Oh, I'm in a hurry. God, we are recovering. We will recover your brother's own, recover your sister's own, recover your father's own, recover your mother's own, recover your husband's own, recover the dead ones that went and their own was taken. We are taking all of them back. Get ready for multiple, multiple recovery. Come on, 2 Kings 19, the last two verses, 36 and 37. I just want to show you. Oh, thank you very much, Shizak. God bless you for the work you're doing on this platform. The scriptures are already there. I want to peg it so that you can see it. God is doing something. We are hitting, we are hitting the altar tomorrow. Look at this. So Sennacherib, king of Assyria, departed and went and returned and dwelt at Nineveh. The war became so hot, he ran back. Look at verse 37. And it came to pass as he was worshipping in the house of Nisroch, his god, that Adramalek and Shareza, his sons, smote him with the sword and they escaped into the land of Armenia and Esahadon, his son, reigned in his stead. He went to his altar. When the battle became too strong, he ran to his altar. While he was worshipping, his two sons came to the altar there and used their sword and killed their father at the altar, settled at the altar. A letter was before the court and the court executed the judgment. Listen to me. Take your time and read this scripture. Something is about to happen. 
something is about to happen. What a mighty God. Now, I have listed 10 prayer topics. I have listed 10 prayer topics. Tomorrow night is fasting and praying from 12 midnight this night till the broadcast tomorrow night. The broadcast will be rounding up. My job is to connect to the men of God that will be on this platform and we will speak a word to seal what God is doing for you. If you have not fasted fast, you are not going to die. No water, no food. No water, no food. If you're breastfeeding, stay on fruits. Take your tea as much as you can for your baby. If you are on serious drugs, take fruits. I encourage you, don't give yourself reasons why you can't do this. This is important. You are not going to die. After the broadcast, you can eat before you sleep. If you like, you can leave it till the next day. Let it be on record that you fasted one day. And let's see what God will do. I don't need to collect your money and go and uh, mobilize prayer warriors to pray on your behalf. My friend, you need to fight. Let's fight. Seize this opportunity. Join others. You can get people and stay in the house with. We are going to be praying. I've listed 10 prayer topics. It's on my page. I have sent it also on WhatsApp to those I have their numbers. Now, let me go through it very quickly here before I round up this post. We are looking at the petitions for court proceedings tomorrow. Number one, receive mercy for yourself and for your family. Number one, somebody can just type it. Receive mercy for yourself and your family. Colossians chapter 1 verse 14. That is the part of the constitution we are using. What is written is written. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Stand in the gap for your family. Stand in the gap for, your, for yourself. Stand in the gap for your children. I believe God and mercy will prevail. That's the first. The second one. Silence every voice from covenants, from sacrifices, from evil altars. There are families that still have voices. There are voices speaking from your past. There are voices speaking from around you. We dealt with tokens. There are things around where you live and you don't know that they are there. Remember our message with unknown altars around you. You can go through my page and lift the broadcast. You will see the topics. Go through them. It will, look, it will be a blessing to you. Check the messages on altars. We dealt with unknown altars. Things planted in houses around you, operating around you that you don't know. There are covenants over the businesses where you, where you went to work. There are covenants over the houses where you live. Listen, they cannot. There is a demarcation between Goshen and Egypt. Something is about to happen. And so we will silence every voice that is powered by covenants, by sacrifices, by evil altars. The covenant your mother made that is satanic will, cannot stop your marriage. If it stops others in your, your family, it cannot stop your own. After this lockdown, we are going to have some very serious miracle weddings. After this lockdown, get set because somebody is in a hurry to get married. Leviticus chapter 17 verse 11. That is the scripture written. That is the constitution we are invoking. That is it. Leviticus 17 verse 11. For the life of the flesh is in the blood. And I have given you blood upon the altar to make atonement for your soul. So I need you to pick up that. Number three. Let perfect health and healing be restored. For anyone that is going through sickness. Any form. Sicknesses that block conception. Sicknesses that affect reproduction, sight, 
blood-related sickness, whatever form it takes, every satanic disease, the ones that came by projection, that came from dream, the one that came by you marching on something, the one that came by arrows that are sent, the one that came by the whatever form, I believe God that Jeremiah 30 verse 17, that is the constitution written. Jeremiah 30 17, for I will restore health unto thee and I will heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord. He said it by himself and he cannot deny what he said. And so we are going to stand there. If you are sick, listen, by this time tomorrow, you should be dancing around and moving around. Anytime you pray this prayer, get up and begin to do what you could not do before. Let prosperity locate me, locate my family, new jobs, new promotion contracts, my career. Let prosperity focus on me. Psalm chapter 1 verse 3. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. Something will happen. I don't care how long you stayed without anything in the lockdown. You are about to hit prosperity. Something will happen. I believe God that they will come looking for you. Grace is about to reposition you. That is the constitution we are standing on. Verse number five. Let every satanic agent, satanic gadgets, Satanic device against my life and family be exposed and destroyed. Talking about tokens. I want you to know that one of the most powerful satanic gadgets is the mouth of some people. They speak and things go wrong about other people's lives. Gossip, slander. People come and sow seeds with their mouth and block help from coming to you. They are satanic gadgets. We are going to deal with it in the prayers. Isaiah 49 verse 26. What is written is written. So I need you to take note of that. It's my page so you can lift it up. We are preparing this thing. Go through it this night. Use your pen. Write it out. So that as you are praying your petitions, you can stand on the one that is related to it. Number six. Let growth and knowledge of Christ increase in my family. Listen here. If your brother receives Christ, you have less trouble. If your husband knows more of Christ, you will have less trouble. Your guarantee of enjoying a relationship is that your partner knows God and follows God. And so we are going to be praying. Philippians 2 verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Invoke those the mind of Christ. Let it, let it swallow the mind of everyone. They begin to think like Christ. They begin to act like Christ. For your family members. We are, we are hitting physically, spiritually. We are taking this thing by fire. Verse, number seven. I'm already in verses because I'm on the scripture. That is the constitution. Number seven. Let every delay be ended. Hey, every delay, every delay, every delay in ministry, your results, in your career, in your payment, in your wedding, in your conception, every delay in that which is due to you. It could be for your brothers or your sisters. Listen, it is important. We are breaking. Delay will die tomorrow. Ezekiel 12:28. Therefore say unto them, thus saith the Lord, all delay has ended. That's New Living Translation. King James says, none of my words shall be prolonged anymore. But the word which I have spoken shall be done. Hey, it's heavy tomorrow. <laughs> it's heavy tomorrow. Number eight, let every closed door open to me and my family. Every closed door, marriage, conception, Visa, job, contract, whatever it is, ministry platforms, opportunities to take your ministry out. Listen to me. Let every closed door open. 
every padlock will break to pieces, whether they are spiritual or physical. Isaiah 60 verse 11, that's what is written. Therefore, thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be short day nor night, that men may bring thee the forces of the Gentiles. Oh my God. Get ready to receive visitors. Yes, Adan Nechioma, get ready to receive. Receive things that they say can never enter your family will enter. Get ready to receive what you have not received before. I mean very good things. Number nine. Receive grace for every need. This will cover everything. I don't know the need that is now. Rent. Debt you are owing. You borrowed. And there is no money to pay back. Receive grace for every need. Psalm 84 verse 11. For the Lord God is the sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. That's number nine. And number ten. Give thanks. Give thanks. Psalm 118 verse 1. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for his good. Because his mercy endureth forever. If there is no other reason to give him thanks. His mercy endureth forever. These are ten. You can take it two every three hours. Pray by six. Pray by nine. Pray by twelve. Pray by three. Pray by six p.m. And then we hit it together at nine p.m. Even if it's just ten minutes. Pray and go back to do what you want to do. You can pick it two, 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 two topics per prayer hour. Our prayer hours starts. You can start tonight, go through them, and begin to set your alarm at 33 hours. It will remind you. Take it two, two. Don't just, because if you want to stay long, if you want to, no problem. But you can take it like that every three hours. Ten minutes, you pray. You can go and lie down. You can study. You can do your work, whatever you're doing. Do it, but try not to do things that will exert too much energy on you. I want to encourage you. We are in court. Two hours from now, we will head to court. I want to encourage you. Our God hears us. Our God hears us. Receive strength. I'm going to pray for us tonight that we receive strength. Connect everybody you know. Talk to them. Yes, my dear. Thank you, OZ, for that. Connect. Call your friend and pray together. Oh, it's our time for prayer. Can we just pray? Get a prayer partner if you like. Even in your family. Even in your house. At that hour, somebody will call the other person. Let's pray for five minutes. Tackle that topic and get back to do what you... Stay in the mood of prayer tomorrow. Tomorrow. I believe by the time we step out of court, we will be coming out with our judgment and we will be celebrating after. I pray, Lord, tonight we receive strength for the proceedings. We receive strength to stay in your presence. We receive strength we receive wisdom. We receive, Lord, vitality. Father, may your presence envelope every family, every individual that is connected to this prayer. Lord, we ask, oh God, that your presence will swallow us. Do that which makes you God. Let every petition receive your attention. We pray because we know you hear. If we can ask, you are able to provide. We receive all with thanksgiving. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Give me that carry me go. Men and brethren, please. A lot of people, it's not a time to share prayer topics. Stay on it. God will hear you. I can tell you. By 9 p.m. we will share and then deal with all of them and speak that's what i'm going to be doing tomorrow staying on the prophetic and speaking standing on what is written 
and I will address what you have. Welcome to your season of Jubilee. Listen, make up your mind, you can go through this. No matter how tight your schedule tomorrow, you can go through it. No food, no water for 21 hours. I believe God hears us. I will see you tomorrow. Raise the volume. Thank you for connecting. Send data. If you don't have, request data from someone. Thank you, every one of you that is connecting through somebody's page. I bless you. Be a part of it. Those of you that are in people's houses, you can make that place a prayer center. If you are not going to walk, I believe something is in the air. Grace is in the air. The sound of victory is around the corner. I celebrate you for being a part of this broadcast. We will share your testimony. The world will hear it. Those who mocked you will close their mouth in shame. We serve a living God. Take up the prayer topics. Make sure you write. Take time this night. Write, write. I have always said, because tomorrow we will present the letter before God. Write it on a good sheet and keep it with you. And pray with it based on the constitution, on what is written. Ah, even the devil knows that he can't stop what is written. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May the Lord leave the light of his countenance over you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord give you peace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. More grace. Come on. Thank you, Lord.
glory. Thank you, precious. Thank you for being a blessing to me today. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Woman of God. Reverend Wells, God bless you, sir. God bless you, Mama. Oh, thank you, Lord. Reverend Meldix, I hope to meet you very soon. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. And that name, Dr. Choma Ibezim, God bless you. Thank you for being here. Oh, my Katalabo Shatalabos. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.